This is the stately starter machine. The initial state is where the machine starts. Each state is a rectangle and describes the machine's status or mode. The machine can only be in one state at a time. States are connected by transitions. Those are the arrows and are triggered when an event happens. Events are those pill shapes. Sometimes your transitions will only happen depending on a condition. These conditions are called guards and are represented by the numbered if and else pill shapes. A machine also has a parent state with child states. Child states can only be active when their parent state is active. When you are ready to create your own machine, you can delete all the states and events by dragging to select and use the backspace key to delete everything selected. Or you can open the left drawer using the drawer icon in the top bar and choose New Machine. The New Machine menu gives you the option to start with a blank canvas, use our starter template, import from your own code, whether that's xState, Redux, Sustand, and you can also generate a flow with AI from a text description. We'll start with a blank canvas. We're going to make a video player. Double click the state to rename it. Add a state using the plus icon menu. All states are child states of the machine, also known as the root state. The first state in our video player is playing. Use any of the handles around the state to create a connecting event and target state. When our machine receives the pause event, it will transition to the paused state. We don't want our video to autoplay, so our initial state should be paused. Change the initial state by selecting the desired state, using the triple dot menu and choosing mark as initial state. Now our pause event goes to playing. So we can fix that by selecting the pause event and using the triple dot menu to switch the source and target states. You can add markdown descriptions to any state or event. Use the plus icon menu to add a description and click into the empty area to add your description text. I'll add a link to a Figma document. That link is now a clickable link in our video player machine. As I'm a pro user, I can also drag and drop images onto my states. I'm going to upload a mock-up of my video player and I'll choose the small display size represented by the SM label. Use the box icon to fit your machine to the available space. Use the pan button or hold down the space key while dragging to pan across the canvas. Another way to create new states is to double click anywhere on the canvas. Our video player is going to start in a thumbnail closed mode and open to full screen. So this new state will be closed and will create a new opened state too. The closed state will now be our initial state. Drag from the handle on one state to connect it to a target state and create a new event. The video player will go from closed to opened on play. Next, we want the playing and paused functionality to only happen when the video player is opened. We can quickly make these into child states by dragging to select them, using the Command and C keyboard shortcut to copy them, delete them with backspace, then select the opened state and paste the child states inside. We get these warnings because the paused state is unreachable, as our video player is transitioning to playing on pause. Another way to switch the source and target states is to drag the ends of the transition to swap them to different states. Next, I'll create a stopped state and an ended event connected from the parent opened state. Now our video player could be stopped at any time when it is in the opened state. You can drag your states and events to any position you like to make your machine easier to read. Drag to select multiple states and events and move them together. A state machine can fire off effects called actions. On our playing state, I'll use the menu to add an entry action for play video that fires when the playing state is entered. I'll also add a pause video exit action when the playing state is exited. We can add the implementation details for these actions in our code later. A running state machine can also be described as an actor. An actor is a running process that can receive and send events and change its behavior based on the events it receives and cause effects outside of the actor. Here we'll use the menu to invoke a video player actor that will be started when the opened state is entered and stopped when the opened state is exited. We'll use the edit icon button to open the actor details panel and give our actor an ID. This will make it easier for the code implementation later. Finally, we want to ensure our video player closes when the video is stopped, ended, or the escape key is pressed. Make a state into the final state using the triple dot menu and selecting state type final. 
the final state represents the successful completion of our opened state. Then I'll use a state done event to transition back to the closed state when the opened state is complete. I'll also add an escape event that can transition back to the closed state at any time the open state is enabled. Zoom to the selected states by right-clicking and choosing Zoom to Selection. You can simulate your state machine by switching to Simulate Mode at the top of the editor. In Simulate Mode, you can walk through your machine as if it were live. To start, your machine will be in the initial state and you can click any of the highlighted possible events to take them to the next state. The video player starts in closed and I can only take the play event. From the open state and its initial playing state, I can pause, which takes me to the paused state. But there's no play event to take me back to playing if we wanted to resume the video player. I'll jump back into design mode, select the paused state and drag a new transition to playing with a play event. Now I can return to simulate mode, take the play event, pause event, and now I can take the new play event back to playing again. Triggering the ended event will transition us from stopped through the on done, taking me back to the closed state again. You can review the steps taken by opening the simulation controls panel. Now we have a working machine, we can export the code to our XState project. Select the code panel to get the code for the machine. We're using JavaScript and get the code using the copy code button. Here's a project I made earlier. I'll paste my machine into the machine code file and save. Current state is displayed in text so you can see how my video player goes through the state machine states. Closed, press play for opened and its child state playing, pause for opened and paused, play again. Then when the video is ended, the video player has transitioned back to closed. I can play again and hit escape to return to closed instantly. Finally, I want to show you some of the features available to our premium users. Starting with color. Select the color swatch to choose from the color palette. I'll choose green for playing, red for stopped, and yellow for paused. Now I've made those changes, I want to save a new version of my machine to the version history. To do this, open the versions panel, save a new version, and if you want, you can give your version a custom name. As a pro user, I can also choose to make my project private. I can change it to public or unlisted from the share button. As I have a team plan, I can also move my machine to a project that I share with the rest of my stately teammates. If you want to find out more about how to use the Stately Editor, you can go to the Help menu or visit our Stately and XState docs at stately.ai/docs. Thank you for watching.